So with my recent Dragon Ball Saga and World Tournament summoning video, which if you haven't seen, link is in the description, I pulled an extra copy of this Ultimate Gohan here, and that was the last copy I needed in order for him to be 100%ed. So today we're going to be showcasing him. I feel like this card is a good card. I think a lot of people just don't acknowledge him at the very least, just like Gohan in the series. So um, we're going to go through the details of this card, and then we're going to test him out on the Transforming Goku event, see how well he does. So 11,867 HP, 11,473 attack, 7,616 defense, HP attack is good, defense is quite average. All types leader for 2 key and 50% stat boost. He causes supreme damage to the enemy with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, which came in very, very clutch when I did my hybrid Saiyan Super Battle Road. So I think it was really nice to have him on the team. Um, he also gets a good attack and defense boost, 70% at the start of the turn. And then he gets additional 3 key and 30% stat boost when your HP is at least 50% or above. So that's really, really good since you're most likely going to stay above 50% with a really good team. For the hidden potential system, 17 critical, 9 additional. I would probably take away a little bit of crit for a dodge next time um, if I was to spend 10 stones to change it. But for now, I'm just going to leave him as he is, as he always was. Uh, for the link skills, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Power Bestowed by God. Z Fighters and Shadowing the Limit. His link set is kind of weird. Um, there's not one person that, you know, activates all of it. There's only a uh, few people that activate at least four of the links. So there's no perfect, perfect linking partner right now. For the categories with Hybrid Saiyans, Margin Boost Saga, Goku's Family, and Siblings Bond, we're going to be running him under Goku's Family um, with a few extras. And I do not have uh, Android 18 on this account, so I couldn't run 120% leader. That's the reason why. I would love to run Siblings Bonds as a team. Uh, but we got Super Battle Road Goku, we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, just for the 170% attack boost. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. See how well he does. The linking partner that I have with him is going to be the Int Goku. Uh, Int Goku has Z Fighters and the, obviously the support. Uh, the main two links, tacking links that I really want to get off uh, in a rotation for the Gohan is the uh, Z Fighters, obviously, and Int Fighters. So that's uh, extra... 25% attack boost. So we're going to float out this guy over here so that he can meet up with the Gohan. Rocky rotation for now. But we should be okay. 355,000 HP. Videl here shouldn't really be in the main rotation because she isn't boosted whatsoever except the 100% leader. Uh, Vegito is fine because Goku has uh, the AGL secondary lead. We'll probably stun here, not going to lie. Nope. Okay. That's pretty good. The pen obviously there later on, but we'll have that just for some extra links. So yeah, let's see for the first attack stat, 123,000 attacks that 50,000 defense with no supports really. So actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. Let's just even super attack with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. This is not really a card that builds up attack and defense, just really um, static throughout the whole game. I would like to see a stun. We could stun through the uh, first three phases or fourth eight. Four phases. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, later on, I think uh, God Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku ends up being immune to stuns. There we go. All right, Super Saiyan down. Moving along pretty fast. Don't need to stay on in a specific phase for too long. Just float out Videl. She's our only float of character that has, no, and Vegito that has in fight, I think. I think Vegito has Infighter. Oh no, only Candy Vegito has Infighter. Or some Vegitos have Infighter, not this one. Well, that sucks. <laughs> At least he has one link that nobody else shares with the Gohan, which is the um, Power Bestowed by God. It's not a dramatic boost. It's only 2,500 plus attack on the super attack. But hopefully it will do something extra. Alright, <laughs> we are destroying that Goku and Gohan pair. With that melee damage. And a little dodge from Vegito. All right, here we go. So we've got the right linking partners. We've got Z Fighters now. Um, there's no way of getting the 18 key, which is why I'm going to put him there for now. Sure, we can save those. Start saving those purples. Actually, the phase is going to end in this one, actually. So it doesn't really matter. 163,000 attacks that with one support now. What sucks is if we are under 50% HP, 738k damage. Not as much as the um, Goku and Gohan pair, the EZA. But I think we'll get there eventually. 
Um, yeah, so if we do get under 50% HP, we do lose the passive from Gohan, but also gain the passive from Super Barrow Goku. So it's a little bit of an interesting thing if we want that or not. Or maybe it doesn't make a difference. Who knows? All right, so we've pretty much got everything sorted out. Um, when B-Pan comes back again, I will definitely go for the uh, active skill. Because we're most likely going to obliterate these phases. Like, we're already on Super Saiyan 3. Goku will get some good damage output. This Goku and Gohan will get some good damage output for sure as well. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> and then they get the additional. So that's pretty much a dead Goku. Already. Gee. Alright, we're on to God Goku now. Uh, this time I will actually chuck him in the middle here, no matter what. Uh, still no 18 key. We're one key short. Uh, that sucks. I didn't bring a tree of might or anything like that. I should have. But um, our attacks that has drawn to, let's see, 201,000 attack stat and 65,000 defense. So actually pretty good. Let's see if we can out damage the Goku and Gohan. That would be probably the goal. 1 million attack stats, so good start, good start. No, 708,000 damage. Alright, so we need to get the crit for the easy 1 mil, but a Dokimo could possibly still hit for 2 mil as well uh, with the critical. Oh, look at all these. If we do not kill here, we've got the setup going with all the purples. Just make sure we don't do too much damage. I try to grab as little as we could. So we do get more attack stat than this Goku and Gohan. So um, we should be out damaging him now at the very least. Come on, you didn't need to do that. You didn't need to do that. Alright, we're going to risk it here. See if this uh, Goku will kill or not. Probably he will. He probably will. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a hit here. 1.2 million attacks. If he doesn't kill here, then this Goku sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I tried for it. Alright, blue Goku time. Let's see if we can start with the, um, the purples. Cool, purples on the left. Let's go and use a princess. Ooh, you know what really sucks? It's the fact that we're probably going to get the Doku mode next turn. And then that means we won't be able to get the 18 key super because we won the Doku mode with the Gohan. And I just got an 18 key super there. Great stuff. Not really what I wanted. Actually, with the orbs that we have on the field, probably won't get it anyway. Just use the Princess Snake to conserve um, as much HP as we can so that we still are over 50% HP. Yikes, we are obliterating this Goku. Of course, a pretty old event. Alright, cool. So we aren't going to get the 18 key super. Because then that would mean a Doku mode with Super Battle Goku. However, I am going to put Gohan in the middle here. Just for all the links that he could actually activate. And then we'll use the B-Pan's active skill. And then, you know what, we'll use a little Bomber for an extra 25% boost. And you know what, we'll use a Bomber for the extra 25% boost. Man, I just love having fun with these items, just for these showcases. Makes it a little bit different. <laughs> Here we go, let's see this crazy amount of attack power. Do, 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 do. Here we go. 1.6 million attacks that even a non critical will get that 2 mil. <laughs> and whoop, bam! 3 million critical. Definitely not overdone right there. And that's going to wrap up the showcase of the Ultimate Tech World Tournament Gohan. I think this is an alright card. I think he's very slept on. He's definitely useful in a lot of circumstances. 
I'm going to leave in the top right poll what you guys think about this card. Do you guys think he was ultimate or was he overrated? Let me know in the top right poll. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. As always, have a good day. Stay safe. Stay busy. Peace out.